There we go. Now switch back. We'll get Bilbo up. Excuse me, you can motor about. Right, there you go. We should be good here. Go on, Bilbo. Screw him up. One. Two. Three. Annihilated. Bilbo, our man of steel. Man of action. Once again, getting us through. The alien invasion. Should I take out some of these so they don't come back again? God, they're so annoying to deal with. If you kill the main hub, though, they get destroyed, so that's pretty nice. Yep, yeah, this is the Space Crew uh, game nearest. We are about 25 hours in and nobody has died, so... It's a big GG for me. Maybe I'm just a pro at these games after failing so hard at Bomber Crew. Or maybe they've just removed a lot of the mechanics which made Bomber Crew actually hard. One of the two. Let's get everybody healed up. There's only one guy left, so I'm not too worried. Bobo's already hammering him. Nice. Now this should be the home world, I believe. Do I... Oh, dude. I sh really shouldn't pick this up. You know what, screw it. We'll, br we'll pick it up on the way back. I don't want to get it here. How's the war going? Pretty well. We've killed about 50,000 and lost none. So, actually, no. Nah, you know what? Screw it. You never know. Wolf, my boy. Time to get yourself the retrieving equipment. Shoop. Beautiful. Do the fast jump. Normally these ones are quite the most hectic to do, so let's just get a fast jump and get out of here. So we don't have to worry about it. Bye. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Hold up. Oh, it's one of these dickhead things. Oh, it's gonna keep setting on fire. You gotta be fucking kidding. Oh, I had one of these before, man. Oh, this... These little shits are some of the most annoying things, so they just keep on fucking exploding. Oh, no, man. And on this mission of all things? God, I shouldn't have picked it up. It's going to just keep setting on fire, like over and over and over again. Yeah, I know there's a fire on board. It's fine. It's going to keep happening. We'll just let the whole room go, and then we'll we'll suck it out. I don't want that thing in my ship, thank you. Oh, we're taking a lot of fire here. Let's just make sure to do that. Alright, we'll let it burn. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of enemies. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Thank you for the follow, Danny. That's very kind of you. Let's get the focus fire on everybody. Even you, Wolf. Gonna have to move. You know what, let's bring them in. It's probably a bad idea to do this, because we will have them for the next one, but c'est la vie. Oh! It's fine, just keep hitting them. Defense time. What's hit? Oh, the engine's out. Okay. Hands.
Alright, replenish shields is working. Let's just hit the MP real quick. Change auto to this. So we can just do a little bit of damage while we move about. Wolf, my boy. Get on the spacesuit. There we go. Let's get you fixing this. Auto tag. Switch back. Hit the replenish shield so it's ready to go when we're ready. So Wolf doesn't get killed. Nice. Right, get back on the gun. Okay. Beautiful. Come on, Wolf. Back inside. Little bit hectic. We do have a vase backup if we need it. So that'll be kind of nice. God, those tri-fighter things are just so deadly. Very impressive machines. Alright, two more left. One thing we definitely need to do is inspirational speech. Because if we don't have these two back up in time, especially fighter support, feel like we're going to get absolutely nailed here. Right. So, first things first, I want to test something. Can I just yeet this out the back? Can I just kick it out so it stops setting on fire? No. Shit. God damn it, man. So I'm just going to have to manage that the whole time. This whole mission. I shouldn't have picked it up. What a... <laughs> what a dodo. So is this a zero death run and we'll be resetted after a death? No. No, this is literally, uh, we've just played the game normally and haven't died at all. Oh. It's a big old planet. That's cool. So I'm guessing this is their home world. Looks pretty cool. <sighs> is this where we're going to be attacking? Yeah, there is a there is a mass. They they added in an uh, update one point one Eurus like a a fuck you mode basically. All right, let's see what it is. Is this the alien homeworld? Like this is just the normal mode that it came out with, but there's like an easy mode and a hard mode. And right now we're on like the the normal mode. It's definitely the Phasmid homeworld. You better get out of there quickly. No doubt they'll not take kindly to you being discovered. Uh oh. Wait, why am I discovered? Hold up. I ain't done anything. All I did was scan the planet. But well, we're going. Fight is coming in. Let's get the focus fire on Wolf. Try and take some out before they get here. Nice. Good hits on the shields there. And also the armor. Let's see if we can take him out. Some more are coming in. Biggins. Alright, one down. Let's get two down. Oh my god. Alright, we're still fine. Go defense. Fire is contra fire is contained. So we can just chill here. We've got our uh, we've got our stuff going. We'll put overdrive on Otto. Just to see what he can do. You're gonna pull an Ender's game and destroy the whole planet? I think that's the idea eventually. Alright, let's go evasive. Make sure these little shits can't eat us. There we go. Right, 
And while we're doing that, first of all, Bilbo, get the focus fire on. Hands, I need you to purge. There we go. Right, back to your position. At least if any of the aliens get into that area, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna they're gonna set on fire, so you know. Small victories. So if we get boarded, they will die. What is that noise? Oh, he's got a ooh. Oh Okay, <laughs> so that only does twenty five of our shield. It looks so many so much more damning than it actually was. Alright, come on. Get the little things. There we go. Right, we don't have evasive piloting up. Hands, please. It's EMP time. And auto switch over. Hands back on the gun. Let's try and take out some of these guys while we're here. Try, come on. There we go. What is he hitting? Oh, okay, that's fine. Don't use that anyway. Oh, I understand it requires repair. I also understand my ship is just put, just always on fire. And there's nothing I can do about it. Fast jump charge is a little bit low. Abigail has her stuff back, but we're not going to use it yet. Seems to be holding pretty strong here. Just got to make sure that back shield comes back up. Good evening, Parker. How are you? How's life? Hopefully everything's gone right. Alright, three more targets. So we'll set the charge. Let's get out of here. Just want to leave this godforsaken place. And while we're here... Right hands, go fix this. <laughs> you can see the fire in the back. Uh, that's great. Right, fire extinguished. A wolf. Oh, that thing's about to blow the fuck up. All right, let's get that fixed real quick. There's no enemies here, though, so it gives us a little bit of respite. There we go. And we have four to five more hyper jumps. Why does that say four to five? Abby, I need a pretty clear answer here. Four to five is not good enough. So I need to know if I have my fast jump charge back, which one to use it on. Disappointing as always? Well, that's fair. Oh, that's why. Okay. Well, I'm going safest route. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Three and four. Okay, we can do that. Especially if we get our fast jump charge back. Try and take out some of these guys before they get close. It would be nice if you could prioritize targets. So they didn't uh, shoot separate ones, you know. At least we're doing some damage. Let's go on the attack, actually. Let's run at him. See how that does us. Oh, it's not doing us too well. Alright, alright, alright. You made your point, you made your point, you made your point. <laughs> I was going to buy the MTCA before they lied to us about the store discounts. I mean, they didn't really lie, did they? For some reason, people are taking, like, 50% discounts to mean everything 50% off. I don't think they've ever done that in War Thunder's history. Where they've just made everything 50% off, you know? 
don't know why people are expecting that. No, come on, defense. That's a lot of fire. Sit them with the EMP again. While we're here, purge. Nice. There's more. Oh, Jesus. The reason why I'm going the fastest route is because I'm sick of dealing with this fire in my back, so... Just means that we don't have to deal with it for that long. My god, there's so many of them coming. We have a vase of backup if we need it. If we time it right, we should be fine. We'll definitely have a fast jump, jump charge backup as well. We should be okay. And once again, shields are low, so we pop it. Let's get our shields back up. Weapon boost on Bilbo's backup, so that means just focus fires back up. I just kind of want to finish this these guys off. We seem to have been sat in this battle for so long. Let's get it done. Okay, I haven't taken too much damage. I might take some here, though. Nah, no, we're good. The guys sorted that out. Nice. So one... I think there's like two left. Alright, let's set up for it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to use all of our tricks here. Let's get back to base. Oh, that fire's raging quite hard, actually. Oh, not Tuxum. This is not the time, you fucking bald-headed twat. Where you at? Where the fuck is he? Oh, not this shit again. I can't see him. There we go, got him. You know what? You're gonna die. I've had enough of your shenanigans. Gonna absolutely twat you. Oh, fire's pretty bad though. Right, let's fix that. Oh god, it's opened the fucking door. Right. I didn't realize fires could open doors. We now know something new. There we go. Right, Abigail is getting absolutely frazzled by uh, by radiation, which ain't good, obviously. But our fighters are doing a good job. And Tuxum is hurt. Hans is also quite low. Right, let's go evasive. Let's just fix our stuff while we're here. I can't see them on the backdrop. Of the red shit. There we go. Alright, get back to your gun. I'm pretty sure Tuxum's gonna get away, but I'm fine with that. Like, the fact that uh, Yuki, Abigail, and Hans are really fucked up. Um, I think it means that we should prioritize their health over everything. Alright, hands. Come on. Hit the MP, baby. Alright, Otto, switch guns. Hands while you're here. Make sure to purge. Let's get our shields back up.
Right, come on. Where are the guys I haven't tagged? There they are. Yeah, I think brothers got away, but that's fine. Don't have to worry about it. Go. Oh, that thing did quite a lot of damage there. I have no idea where the the alien dude went, but he's fucked off, so we don't have to worry about it. Throw a marshmallow in there? Yeah, it might help. God damn, man. On a major mission, I'm never picking one of them up again. What a pain. Yeah, there we go. He's disappeared. Alright, well, we didn't kill Koi D. Tuxum, but at the same time. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> More radiation sickness. Look at Hans and Abby. Uh, they're more they're more half super mutant now, and Bilbo and Wolf have just got too stuck to their heads. Oh, is that it? All right. Oh no, we can't accelerate. Maybe that's because of the radiation. So the f the fast travel way actually made the most sense. Yuki. Don't fuck with me, boy. Alright. He got past the asteroids, unscathed. Oh. oh, never mind. He's about to get donked. <laughs> and out of nowhere, from the top rope. Back to Athena. With the whole ship, as you can see, a little bit of fire. J just a slight little bit. So before we land, it might be worth getting rid of that. What do you think? I think so. Let's be nice. So we got the main objective done, we got uh, an item, we know where their base is, we know where their home world is, everything is ready to go. All of our guys are full, still no uh, upgrades, so yeah, seems like it is how it is. So we can either eliminate the champion or harvest antimatter. A scientist have developed an antimatter bomb that can destroy the Phasmid homeworld in one fell swoop. The rub is that this new weapon requires antimatter harvested from a pulsar quadrant. Get in and out before the radiation overcomes your crew. Well, you know what that tells me? Radiation suits. Let's go. Oh, but they lose so much armor, though. Is it even worth it? Do we have an anti-radiation glove? Oh. That might help. What does a uh, wolf have? Oh yeah, he has them. Mmm... Have I played U-Boat before? No, I've watched it. It looks very boring. You know what? Gives plus 10 radio radiation resistance. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit of radiation resistance to our boys. Mm K. 
Okay. So radiation resistance on pretty much everybody is absolutely terrible. Apart from Wolf. So... <laughs> it's gonna be uh it's gonna be an interesting situation. But we are armored to the hilt. Let's get some antimatter. Is this bomber crew in space? Yes. Right. Off we go to San Francisco. With our new gloves and our new suede shoes. If we die, at least we have a bunch of money to build our ship again. I'm very much worried about the radiation, huh? See if we can take out these small fries first. Good old beam riding boys. These guys do literally no damage. Oh, for the love of God. The weapons. There we go. Get the beams out. They were using the wrong ones. No seven crew? No, there's six crew in this one, but you can get... If you want, you can get more crew members, but... I've been running Sing 6 from the start, which is the minimum, and it's been fine. I think you can get probably seven or eight, because that's the amount of positions that are here. But then the game would be super duper easy, so there's not really much point. Because then you could just use like stuff like the boosts all the time and it would just be it would take very little micromanaging. I mean it already kinda does, but yeah. No, I don't want I don't want seven crew. I'm good with six. It's nice to see you, little Roma. Hopefully you're alright. Like, I already haven't died at all in this playthrough. And we're like about, what, 25, 26 hours in? I don't need to make it easier on myself. <laughs> the game is already staggeringly easy. Way easier than Mama Crew. Shields are back up after a few seconds. Still no good replay since then. Well, that is how it is. Trying to kill the big guys here. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but at least we're dealing with the small ones. Here we go. Nice. Alright, two more. So it's set up to go. We can get out of here ASAP. Bilbo took a little bit of damage there, actually. So, looks like having the less armor is going to affect us. Alright, one more. Nice. Next quadrant. Let's go. Increased enemy activity. That is not what I want to hear. Space Hub, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Space Hub Mark 1. 
It's a continuing mission to colonize strange new worlds, to destroy new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no Brit Bong has gone before. That is true. Our mission, like literally this game is, hey, there's this alien race who's trying to kill us. We're going to nuke their home world. <laughs> like, uh, like no quarter given. No, what are, what are peace talks, you know? What a what a what is negotiation? Nah nah nah. Nuke their homeworld. All right, boss. Let's go. God damn. All right, there we go. Oh, asteroid. That wasn't very kind. Let's try and get. I don't think our shield's gonna come back up. All right, evasion it is. Ooh, nuke first, talk later. Sounds good to me. That's basically what we're doing. So. We ah, ooh. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. Alright, come on. Let's deal with these guys. Oh. Little bit of bumper bumper. A few more coming in too. A few biggins. Oh, I'm guessing that's biggins too. Oh, they're tri fighters, okay. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, there's quite a lot of them here, but our shields are holding, so it doesn't really matter too much. As long as they don't hit our front, we should be grand. The front will come back up soon. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Keep going, Otto. Keep hitting hard. Hey, Tepericos, how you doing? Did someone of the crew die? Nope. Nobody has died yet. After a very long time. Very surprising. The crew is doing incredibly well. And we go for a wiggle again. 